In this video, you will learn how to add widgets in Kotobi Author. Widgets are basically mini apps that run inside your ebook. They can be games, drawing activities, questions, can be any kind of app that you can imagine. The best thing about uh, widgets is that you don't have to develop them yourself. There's a lot of uh, websites and online services that uh, provide free and uh, and paid widgets as well that you can uh, download and use them off the shelf. It can also provide you with some customizations that you do online and then you download the widget that uh, contains your customizations and you very simply add it to, uh, to, to your ebook. If you come from an iBooks author background then uh, Kotobi Author supports uh, iBooks author widgets as well. Now in, in, in Kotobi Author, we provide two different types of widgets. We have a page widget and we have a pop-up widget. A page widget is a widget that runs inside the page of the ebook or inside the chapter. So you don't have to click on anything to make it uh, run. It just, just plays where it is. So you can think of it as an animation in the page, for example, or something that's, that, that's there that you can interact with any time. A pop-up widget is something that you have to click on to make it uh, to make it run, and that's how iBooks Author widgets work. So you have a button and you click on it, and it opens the the mini app or the widget in a window by itself. So two of my favorite websites that you can uh, download widgets for free is Bookery.com and BookWidgets.com. So Bookery, if you if you open it from the if you enter Bookery.com in your browser's URL, you click on widgets. Scroll down a bit, and you can click on free widgets. Sorry, actually you click on the link below, and here shows you some of the free widgets that are available. So you have some uh, simple games. You just add your images and it automatically uh, uh, generates the widget file for you. You can have some charts, calculator, some activities. Of course, there's plenty of integration with social uh, services like Google Maps, Flickr, Instagram, iTunes, and so on. So a very impressive list that you can choose from. And similarly with book widgets, click on Explore the Widget Library. And you have all these different options categorized. It's just wonderful. Okay, so from a blank chapter in Kotobi Author, click on the widget tool. And this will uh, open the widget dialog box where you can choose the type of widget that you want to add. Now I'm going to start with a pop up widget. And the pop up widget is basically the iBooks Author widget. So it's the same thing. If there's a widget that you've been using with iBooks Author, you can add it here and it's fully uh, supported. So I'm going to click on Add Widget File. And I'm going to select Scientific Calculator. And that's a widget that, that I downloaded from uh, bookery.com. So I'll just take a second to, uh, to extract. It gives you some information about it. And then gives you some simple options. Close button position. So, uh, as you mentioned, this is a pop-up widget, so it opens in a window. So you can choose the close button. Do you want it to be on the side, at the top center, or no close button at all? So you click on the background so that it closes. You can assign this uh, widget to a SCORM objective so that you can track it in your LMS, in the case of your exporting your ebook to an LMS. And uh, pop-up widgets, by default, have the icon inside the widget, but you can add your own uh, icon if, if you like. Now click on create and puts the placeholder for me. So, so to see it, we'll go into preview mode and we have the icon here. We'll click on it, starts loading and shows us the widget. So this is a fully interactive app, a scientific calculator, of course, a lot of work behind it. And so you can add this interactivity very easily and very simply and achieve this wow effect for your users without, without having to develop things yourself. 
click on exit and let's see how we can add page widget so we'll go back into the widget uh, creation uh, dialog box click on page widget now page widgets are very easy to create they're they're basically web applications so let me open a web application that I have here so it's just a, an index.html file a JS folder so fonts CSS if I open this you can see it's a BMI calculator so it calculates your body mass index you enter your, key, uh, your weight in kilos and sorry you, and you enter your height calculate gives you the results so it's a very simple web app now I'm going to add now it has to be a zipped file so you zip the whole thing you zip the folder or actually you zip the files inside click on open okay so it gives you some uh, information to fill in the dimensions the width and height margin text wrap so uh, if it's a reflowable layout chapter you can have text wrapping around it now if there's interaction inside a page widget actually most times the page widgets will be animations that you want to add so uh, just uh, we have this unchecked so that uh, animations are more effective uh, but if, if, uh, if there's a button to be pressed or any kind of input that should be uh, interacted with in the widget then you have to check this okay and uh, we, uh, by default the any scrolling is hiding scrolling will appear if the widget content is larger than the dimensions that you set for it up here so you can force the scrolling to always be invisible uh, or you can uh, or you can uh, check it so that it shows the scrolling but of course for a much better experience and design it's better to uh, hide the scrolling and it's up to you at the end click on create and now it shows you the, the widget box you can resize it if you want Oops. and preview actually you see there's no scroll uh, scrolling if you have scrolling then this would have solved the problem that's why you have to make sure that the width and height are sufficient for the widget preview and there you have the widget on the page hope that was useful and uh, that's how you add widgets in good to be author